website posted full list of 29 royal members invited to the coronation, but Meghan and Harry nowhere to be found save the date emails have been sent and preparations are underway. As the countdown to King Charles's coronation in May begins, the final guest list is confirmed. The attendees are certain to include an array of foreign royals, heads of state and politicians. Charles is also understood to want a diverse congregation to reflect modern multicultural society and ensure that his ceremony is inclusive. Representatives from his many charity affiliations and a large cross-section from the voluntary sector will consequently be in attendance. In contrast, only a small minority of politicians and peers are expected to be invited, and far fewer members of the aristocracy than the vast numbers that attended Queen Elizabeth II's coronation in 1953. While 8,000 guests crammed into Westminster Abbey for the late Queen's investiture, the guest list this year has reportedly been cut to around 2,000. Through close examination of the 29 entries corresponding to royals working from low to high, we don't see the names of Meghan and Harry appearing anywhere. The full list stretches from first place as Prince and Princess of Wales, to last place as Lady Marguerite to Armstrong Jones. A royal expert claimed lessons had been learned since Meghan, Markle and Prince Harry last attended a royal celebration, and the palace would work to keep the focus on King Charles III. Meghan, Markle and Prince Harry will have limited public face time at King Charles's coronation, as Buckingham Palace want to keep all eyes on His Majesty, a royal expert told UK Royal Trends. The Duke and Duchess have received invitations to the event, but are thought to be in negotiations with Buckingham Palace over their role in the ceremony. Apart from the Queen's funeral, the last time Meghan and Harry were in the UK for a royal event of the coronation's magnitude was to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee last summer. Royal expert Christine Ross told us that the palace will have learned lessons from that experience and would work to make the coronation run more smoothly, likely by limiting Meghan and Harry's involvement. I suspect that Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend the coronation, and it will be up to the royal planning committees to ensure the focus remains on Charles III. The Platinum Jubilee was a good example on balancing the Duke and Duchess's presence versus their actual public FaceTime, Miss Ross said. She noted the not-so-warm welcome Meghan and Harry received at points during the Platinum Jubilee, something the firm would likely want to avoid this year. The co-host of the Royalty US podcast added lessons will likely have been learned from that occasion, following the booing and consternation from the public, to allow for a smoother experience for the coronation. This meant that the Sussexes would likely be out of sight, out of mind, in order to keep the focus on the King as he's officially crowned at Westminster Abbey on May 6. I expect we'll see them as little as possible because the focus really should be on the King, and not the ongoing drama with his youngest son, Mishrafat.